It's a beautiful morning. So hopefully we get some fish. As part of the translocation program, we uh, transfer fish from Cotter Reservoir to some new sites to establish populations. And the way we do that is we set some fike nets, which are like a long sock net. We set them overnight, so we uh, set these nets yesterday at uh, about half past three to four o'clock, and we're out here in the morning now to retrieve them. empty those nets, process the fish that are in them, choose the fish that we want to move to the new sites to establish the new populations, and then go and release them there later on this morning. I'm recording all the details of the Macquarie perch here, so as Mark measures them and calls it out, I'm writing down their lengths, what species they are in case we aren't getting Macquarie perch, and marking which ones we're translocating so we have a record of what size of fish we translocated. We are trying to establish another population of Macquarie perch here because the one in the Cotter Dam is the only viable population left in the ACT. So what we're trying to do is get all of our eggs out of the one basket and spread a bit of the risk around. And so we're translocating to a number of sites and this is one of them. The reason we bring fish here is that it's uh, a site that has relatively few predatory fish, it doesn't have redfin, it has good uh, habitat and uh, it has relatively limited recreational fishing access. The translocation is really the insurance policy in case something terrible happens to the Cotter Reservoir population, whether that's, um, you know, the the EHN virus gets in and decimates that population or redfin perch gets in or there's another catastrophic bushfire in the catchment or something like that. By establishing additional populations of the species in different catchments, you're just spreading your risk. Mm -hmm. 